Hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Actually, this is not a tutorial, it's just showing you how to customize the templates we create for Premiere Pro 2017 and 2018. Adobe just update its create in After Effects 2018. Of course, the project will be available to download, so make sure to read the description. This is only for the people who support me on Patreon and also the people who purchase the project on my site since uh beginning of 2017 so make sure i will send to your email address so make sure to check your email address for the link to download if you don't get the link make sure to contact me by facebook messenger and i will be more than happy to help you and send the link the only thing you have to have is the invoice number when you purchase and for the patreon supporter you don't have to do anything else just uh log in to Patreon, and you will be able to download will be the link of course so make sure, let me show you what we can do with those templates we created. Okay, as you see, this is what you can create. And the only thing you have to have the 2017 or 2018 Premiere Pro and After Effects, as I say. When you download, you will have this folder called a 2017-2018 tutorial project. Will be the After Effects project and also the Premiere Pro project. The image won't be on the folder and also the sound, but I'll leave the link down below the description where I get the sounds free. The only thing you have to do is subscribe, share on Twitter, Facebook, and like their page, of course, and you will have free. So let me go into my Premiere Pro. I have my project in here. The only thing you need to know is how to import in Premiere. So when you download, as I say, I already show you the link and you will have this motion template. And here you will have more than 10 and also this called like Lix H2. It's a uh, mob extension and so going back to premiere the only thing you have to do is just go and click this icon and will pop up the folder where you have the motion template you download you might have in the download folders of course so you can just uh, select one by one and just click open unfortunately we cannot select all of them and will be nice in the future just to have, you know select all of them and just uh, say import or open Anyway, so I'm going to cancel because I already have my template to my Premiere. And the other thing is if you want to have a nice and separate folder so you can go in here, you know, click and will pop up this window asking the name you want. And, you know, and I'm going to cancel because I already have, as you see, I have this Neta package. So inside in here, you see uh, we got the, let me open this actually. I already have that we just update. You know, I have this, this, and this. It's more than 10, of course, and down here also. And this is the title. And uh, the order to customize in After Effects, I mean, on Premiere, is let me go and create a new sequence. I'm not going to create the whole project because it takes time. Let me just uh, rename this 7 holder or holder 7. Uh, you know, it's 1080p, 30 frames per second. Let me hit OK. And this is what we have. So, and the first you need to go is make sure to have all the templates in Premiere. And I'm going to show you the, the one. It's a little bit, you know, more difficult than the other one. So let me go in here, for example, let me go in here. You see the animation coming from the left to right. And also those bars are different colors. So the only thing you need to do is, you know, open the image. Make sure, you know, you already know how to import the image inside the Premiere. I, I have this folder called image and also have image. Uh, I, you know, I animate those images. Let me open this and this basically. So as you see, I animate this from the left to right. And I also, let me go back to my effect control, you know, and also I scale up five pixels a little bit, you know, it's kind of like more dynamic. If you have a video, of course, you don't have to do this. And uh, why I did animate this from left to right is because let me go in here because we have the animation from the motion templates or templates coming from the left to right. So that's why I animate the image the same way as you see. Anyway, so going back 
in here. So what we're going to do in here is make sure to have the image that you just animate. I'm going to just uh, drag and drop this and pull in the first layer, of course. And I'm going to go and select the motion template, go back to effect control. And what we're going to do is uh, shut down all the opacity in this. You know, let me just go and shut down all what it says opacity to zero, of course. And you know, you can just hit, uh, I mean, select and just hit zero. And just leave those on the bottom called, you know, mask BG background. This is the right, as you see the color, and this is the center, the color blue, of course. And this is the left, the cyan color, as you see. And what we're gonna do is make sure we're gonna play first with the right side, which is this pink, kind of like pink color. So we're gonna leave this in 100, and we're gonna go and shut this down to 0%. And this zero percent, and this is what we have. And then what we're going to do is select and go effect and look for my, you know, favorite track map, and double click, make sure the image selected. And we need to go effect control and just say, you know, I got the video too. And this is what we have right now. Cool. And the second one is let me just duplicate this, holding down Option and Mac. Uh, you know, maybe having the video actually you know I haven't duplicated let me just go back in here okay holding down option again and drag and drop and then what we're going to do is you know the same thing we need to drag this image as I say I animated from the left to right and scale up a little bit and this is what we have so make sure to select this uh, motion template go uh, back to effective control in this case we need the center not the right of course so what we're going to do is make sure to shut down this to zero and this one hundred percent and then this one of course we're going to leave um zero as well and then what we're going to do is make sure select the image double click on track mat and say you know have on uh, layer four and this is what we have so you will do the same if you want this side but i don't want this side of course uh you know actually i haven't you know Put the hand, I mean 0% the text, but you already know what I'm talking about. So let me just go and select this, maybe, and look for the text that we have in here. You see? So let me go and see what is this we haven't shut down. Should be okay, right here. You see? So let me go zero. And also, I need to shut down something else. Where is the opacity? Maybe it's in here. Oh, yes. No. Opacity should be somewhere. We're missing. Or oh, maybe this down here. Or right here. Oh, yeah. You see? So that was uh, missing. Anyway, so I'm going to do as you know, uh, once we have this, we're going to go and drag again and drag and drop the same that we just drag and put on the top. And the only thing what we need to do is go and put those and zero percent you know the right center and left so we're gonna go zero percent and we're gonna go zero percent okay and this is what we have so then you can just uh, you know the same thing you can go ahead and make sure it's selected and we're gonna just change this color right here this bars that we have in here so let me go this is called block uh, left right and center so let me go and maybe the right i need what is the color okay block let me just look for the black center and right so let me go and have this color and you will have this so you see and also you can change this which is the left so we're gonna go and change maybe kind of like blue that we have in the in the preview and you will have this so we can change also the color so going back to my source and this is you know in the paragraph and just have white and also this unique you can go ahead and change this called unique and also you can scale down and move around you know up and down or left and right because we got x and y position and once we have this you need to go and yep once we call this i create this main and i put this so you know you see i create uh holder one holder two holder three and so on so let me show you another one this is the little you know uh tedious but you see it's nice and easy to customize so let's uh, delete this and i want to show you another one that's uh, quick and 
easy so let me go which one i had on the preview was this of course so i pulled this onto the second layer the only thing we have to do and here's the same thing make sure where the animation is coming from it's coming from the right to left you see and i animate the image at the same thing uh from the right to left this let me just drag and drop go and to effect uh, panel let me just make sure the uh, image selected double click and go back to in here you know we got in the second video and this is what we have so what we're going to do is go back my bros and just drag and drop the same thing and this make sure selected and going all the way down so you will see this called image mask so we're going to go and say zero percent and you will have this you see it's the same thing you need uh, you know you can customize the colors and everything you want in here let me see just a change in color in here it's kind of like so let me look for source text so it might be i think it's this one no so go source text and companies you see so let me go and change maybe green just to show you of course i don't like green but just to show you you see so that's the way you can change any color you like in this uh composition of course and you will have this so once you create all of them they hold it so you can just as i said you can go and make sure to put the on the bottom on the first uh, layer put the um title first you know i have this over here so as you see um so it will be i'll be able to you know customize the color and type whatever you want as i said and then what else as you see when I put all the holders together, you know, and I think it's like uh, three or four seconds each. So, and then, of course, in the folder, you will have this called, you know, as I said, Light Lakes uh, H2. So, you see in here, and then I just put in the top so black and white, but I added the effect called for gradient. And then uh, choose the color you like, and also maybe the opacity a little bit down and the, up here also i on the blending mode i choose um screen otherwise it won't work so make sure to have a screen and then you will have as i say make sure to read the description and you will be much informed how to get the uh the links of course uh to download the project as i said and make sure to subscribe if you like otherwise you know anything it's welcome and make sure to check out my page as i say uh, for patreon the only thing you have to do is log in to patreon and just uh, you know download you don't have to send me the uh, invoice number for the people who put in my page any project uh, beginning the 2017 you have to show me the invoice number okay so i hope you guys like it and make sure to check out for the people who have a problem with the mod transition the only thing you have to do is subscribe on my two youtube channels spanish and english and like my facebook page you don't have to do anything else that is a total free thanks so much and see you next time